Okay, so this is video four in our series on using Motion Builder with Mixamo animations for Unreal Virtual Production. And this one's going to be a different way of combining animations. Let's say I want to have my robot sitting, and this clip might just be fine. Except what if I wanted him sitting on the phone? I can search for sitting, and I could scroll through here, and there, there's just nothing on the phone. There is an animation uh, with the robot using the phone. I'm going to type in phone here, and there's a few different animations. So is there a way I can combine these so that I can have the lower portion of the robot sitting instead of standing like these, but instead have the top of the robot using one of these animations? And with Motion Builder, yeah, absolutely, and that's possible. So I already went through and downloaded a sitting animation and a talking on the phone animation. So let's go into Motion Builder here and put them together. So I'll use the characterized robot that we did in the first video. And let's see here, uh, let's see, why bot character version one, there we are, open. So we'll bring that in, and here's our T-Post character. We'll right-click and insert a character animation track here in the Story tab, and this character animation track will drive the Ybot character. And let's bring the sitting animation in first. So I'll right-click, insert animation file, and look for bot sitting. All right, there we go. Open that, and we have this little sitting animation. And we can just scrub through here. And, okay, there's our robot sitting still, and it's uh, shaking his legs, but not really talking on the phone. Just make this longer by grabbing the right side and extending this like we did in the second video. So now what I want to do is create another animation track for the same character. So right-click in the empty space, insert, character animation track. And before I assign this to the Ybot, what I'm going to do is click on this little human figure here and choose which body parts I want this track to drive. So I click on here and I am going to uncheck lower body because this next animation we're going to only control the upper body. So by clicking that I've deselected the lower body. Full body was automatically unchecked and all of the upper body parts are still checked. So any animation that I place onto this track will only drive this set of parts of the character. So let's see how that works. We'll go ahead and select the character for the track, right click, insert animation file, and in this case I'm going to choose bot phone 2 in this case is what I named it. I'll open that up. And you can see the pose has already changed. I'll just drag this to the beginning. Oops, a little too far there. All right. And hit play. And sure enough, look at this. Now the character is actually dialing the phone, answering the phone, and talking on the phone. So I'll uh, right click in the empty space of the timeline and make sure we do frame start end. So now the duration of the animation is the full length. Um, He's a little nervous, shaking his legs, but we run out of time on that, so I'll hit stop, click on the magnifying glass, drag to the left so we see the full duration of the phone talking animation, and click the right side of the sitting animation, just drag that all the way out to match. There we go, and now I can scrub through, and you see that the, the legs and torso are fully animated, now sitting, talking on the phone. So that's it. Of course, we'll bake that onto the skeletal joint system. So clicking over here in our character controls, bake plot to skeleton. That's all done. File, save as, and we'll do uh, you know bot sitting phone call, version two in this case. And we do want to make sure right click, save all the animation. The take is selected and save. All right, that file is ready to go. So we'll go over here to Unreal Engine. We've got a place for our robot to sit. So we'll take our skeletal mesh of the robot, bring that out, and we'll keep that robot selected. Add a track, actor to sequencer, Ybot, and there's our animation space. We'll need to put that animation in here. So let me go ahead and find that. There it is, sitting phone call version two, drag it into Unreal. 
and we will of course uncheck import mesh. We're just going to reuse the existing skeleton that works with the existing mesh and so we'll keep the uh, animation animated time and import that. Once that's finished we'll be able to put that into our animation track. There is our sitting on the phone. Just drag that in here. Release. And now our robot is sitting here. Let's make sure we drag this into the beginning of our clip. And now there is our robot sitting. Of course it's not sitting on the chair, so click here. Slide this into place. E to rotate. W. And there we go. So now our robot is sitting at a table, ready to take a phone call. And hit play. And there we go. Uh, we have a short little video here, so let's just uh, in the viewport with this uh, all set up, we should be able to click right here and set the length. It was uh, 1,117 frames long. There we go. Now we've got the full range. And there we go. So that's how you can combine different animations from Mixamo for the torso and the you know, legs and such so that uh, you can mix and match the different animations for your characters. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.